Today we have uh, animals. We have two animals. It's uh, not quite a zoo, but we have the Nexus animal without the hot stamp and the star animal. The numbers on this, on those discs are 2101. It's not a fast disc. It doesn't have a lot of carry uh, and it doesn't have a lot of fade. What it does have is the ability to go where you throw it pretty well. Getting close to the pin does not rely on distance. It's all about not only getting your left and right aiming, but your exact distance gauge. So this is a disc that is not gonna really do much gliding for you. Whatever power you put onto it, you know it's just gonna continue holding that power all the way until it hits the ground. So super useful, especially if you're throwing up to hillsides, um, any touchy terrain that your, your basket might be sitting on. This is a great way to just have the most control of the way the disc hits the ground. If you wanna talk about a confidence builder, give me a disc that does that all day. If you're throwing at sidearm, it's a really good sidearm approach disc. Got a thumb track, got real good torque resistance, and very good directionality. Backhand, pretty much the same thing. You don't really need as much torque resistance on a backhand as you do with a, a sidearm, but it has it. So you can really pump on this thing uh, backhand, and you're not going to flip it. Not easily. I mean, you have to have a pretty dirty backhand to flip it, or a lot of wind. This thing's very good in the wind. Where it shines, as opposed to other discs in our uh, lineup, is ranging. The speed you throw it depends upon how far it goes. In other words, it's not floaty. It's not going to float past the target. And if, if it goes past the target, you're going to have to put a lot of extra zip on it to go longer than you want to. It puts really well inside the circle, okay, if you've got some snap on your putt. Not as good outside the circle because you've got to really grunt to get a putt to get to the basket or through the basket from 45 or 50 feet. But inside the circle, especially when the wind's blowing, it's very, very reliable putter. Some of you might wonder what the thumb track's for. Well, it's for the thumb for one thing. But another thing is the feature that the faster you throw this disc, the more stable, aerodynamically stable it becomes. There's a force on the back of the disc because of the shape of the thumb track that forces that back down, which gives it more stability. Very versatile, sidearm, backhand, excellent at ranging, uh, very good repeatability, very good reliability.